Hello YouTube, and welcome to Chef Lethal Plays, Path of Exile, slow walkthrough series. I'm your host, Chef Lethal. Let's get started, shall we? The 23rd episode, it's the 12th of December, if you're watching this in real time. If you're not, it is whatever day it is when you watch this. Imagine that. Right, so when we last left off, we spoke to Siosa, we unlocked the library, and we have a ton of skills now. And we are kind of rocking and rolling. We've got a faster leap slam. Purity of Elements is going to help us out with our resistances. Quite a bit. And immune to all elemental ailments, which is great. It means we shouldn't get burned, frozen, shocked. All those nasty things. In our boots, we have Frost Blink with nothing added to it, which is totally fine by me and here we've got righteous fire with burning damage support and elemental we're dealing more elemental damage there and we've got flammability with life tap so now I just need to remember my keybinds this always happens if it's been a few days since I've played is remembering what buttons do what but we're a juggernaut now so we can just go and wreck everything right so the last quest for act three is to travel to the Scepter of God. And I do recall in the last episode, I think we were looking for the library and I ended up actually finding the Scepter of God. I unlocked it with the tower key that we got. Um, so now I just have to find it again. Luckily, this area, the Imperial Gardens, is pretty static as far as the layout is concerned, where generally speaking, the, the three things from this area, from this waypoint. I guess it's only two things. The library and Scepter of God. Well, there's also a, a Trial of Ascendancy. I should I should take that back. They're in generally the same directions from from where the, the waypoint is. So I think the Scepter was up here. So I'm going to just Quicksilver and kind of... You know, oh, I need to put... Righteous fire on, don't forget that. Stand here and see what happens. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Grab these boots for a chromatic orb. And since we have all those new skills, uh, they're gonna level up the first few levels very, very quickly for us. Alright, so once we get in here, I'm going to hit my righteous fire. Boom. Alright, so Q is fire trap, so we do not hide when we get to a tough enemy, we hit him with flammability and then fire traps. And then we watch him... Here we just ascend to the top. Look through those guys. Oh, that's right, I have... Leap Slam as well. There's the exit. About halfway to a level up. See how quickly this stuff is leveling up. When you get to the end game and like you're leveled, you know, 50, 60, 70, and you have to get a new a new skill gem, they level up so fast. Because the monsters give so much more experience. Um, if we had an extra... Oh, I want to show you guys a trick. Uh, I'm going to grab this... I, I can't use it. And I need more dexterity to use it. Ah, shit. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be looking for... Um, I cannot do this yet. Kind of throwaway items that have the sockets that I need on them. You'll see why in a minute. Once I find them, that is. Uh, I, I need some monsters to, <laughs> to kill. And I don't care what the items are, just as long as... Ooh. Just as long as I can use it, equip it. So I need. I'm looking for weapons. I guess I do care what the items are. Just need weapons. Um, this one I can't even use it yet because it requires too much intelligence. I always hate saying that. Anytime I stream and I can't equip something because my int that isn't high enough, I always hesitate to say out loud, oh, "I can't use it because I don't have enough intelligence." Because then chat will roast me, like, well, yeah, you're not smart enough, chef. No. Ah, 
honestly, if you want to make just packs of monsters easier, just hit them with flammability and then run up to them and watch how fast they die. This unique monster, you can tell he had a little icon over his head that indicated that he was uh, cursed with flammability. Grab this. Always grab the waypoint. And we just continue on. Oops, I hit the wrong button there. I may need to change my hotkey for flammability. Um, nothing good. Level all these up. Okay, that's the wrong way. I'll say this. One thing, I think I've mentioned this before. One thing I really enjoy about making YouTube content is the... The less... Mm, I'd say it's more acceptable to make these videos without my camera on, so I can do this however I look. You know? Whatever I'm wearing, I don't have to worry about those types of things. Okay, those aren't really things that I want to be involved in. You see that, uh, this, this thing that spread out? There was a monster that had probably, like, uh, spreads frozen ground or something on death, chilling ground. And if you stand on that, you will be slowed. And so you don't want to do that. Don't do that. Don't stand on it. Continuing around, as we always do. All right, good. There's the exit. Just have to find our way over there. I'm going to hold on, on on kind of larger packs. I'm going to look for... I'm going to hold alt to see if anything drops that isn't being caught by the item filter because I specifically want like a one-handed item that I can equip <laughs> that has multiple green slots. Or at least one green slot. I may need to go to an earlier vendor and look for one. Like go to Act 1 or Act 2. Just because anything that drops right now is going to be kind of level specific, and I just don't have the stats for a dexterity base. I promise it will all make sense once I find what I want. Ooh, no. Armor, armor, armor. Don't want it. Cooler's orb. That's a good drop, I think. Oh, that's the Scion. Okay, so we just freed a prisoner. And uh, now this Scion represents a new character class that we can start. Like right now, after I talk to her, we can then go and go back to character creation and we'll find this character. We didn't previously have that in the first episode. We were worlds apart before. Exile has brought us together. More of an advanced uh, player class, so that's something to keep in mind. You can go start a new character and start as a Scion, but I think it's a little bit harder of a playthrough if you don't know what you're doing. If you're, yeah, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to go to a previous act and go shopping. All right, this is a big boss fight, okay? Um, this is going to be the High Templar Dominus, and he can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Excuse me, pain in the butt. I'm going to try to describe the things that are happening as they're happening, uh, because he can be a bit of a pain. It's multiple stages, um, but here we go. A lot of exposition, too. So there he is. And he's going to have guards and, and stuff like that. Luckily, we don't really have to do much, but we're going to be using our fire trap and flammability. I exiled an animal. Now you almost resemble a man. Got away. Alright, so I'm going to throw down some traps. And just avoid. Just avoid. <laughs> So here, I'm just gonna throw some traps down, hit flammability, and run around. 
these guys. We've got good resistances, so if you're struggling with resistances this fight, you're going to want lightning. Alright, so here's the next phase of the fight. We've got some more monsters over here, so I'm just going to run around. Try to always keep moving. Throw some traps here and there. The traps will explode and put burning ground on the ground. Which will help kill things faster. Have you ever seen the true face of God exile? No. Nightmare prevails. Nightmare prevails. Watch out for those those the lightning. Touch of, God. touch of God is a huge slam. Watch out for that. But he will tell he has words for like almost everything that he does, so just be aware. The touch of God. Stay away from that for God sure. Okay, I just want to dance around him. Hit him with flammability and dance around him. Because we don't have to stop to do damage, of God. we're not really in a ton of danger with that. I'm going to drop some more flame traps Nightmare on him. Alright, so he is going to exciting. go into a mega monster mode here. And you're going to stay inside his little aura. I'm going to go ahead and drop some traps down. I've got seven. Uh oh bunch of traps, hit flammability, trying to, there we go, and just avoid the swipes and just dance around. Put some traps down, just stay close, so I got hit there but that's okay. Anytime you stop to drop traps you're in danger of, you know, getting hit by the melee attack but he's basically dead. And we didn't even break a sweat. So that was great. Excellent. Good job, everybody. We just beat Act 3. Tower exit is now locked. Here. Through the aqueduct. This is a nice little linear area. If I recall. Hit the waypoint. Alright, so I'm not going to go to do this yet. I'm going to go to the town in Act 2 because I want to get some low-level items for a purpose. And I promise, I promise, promise, promise this will all make sense. We don't have anything in my stash. What am I talking about? Alright, what are you selling, buddy? Right, ideally I want multiple green slots, at least one, oh, excuse me, one green slot. Maybe a green and a blue, if there was one that existed. It has to be a weapon, ideally a one-handed weapon, a green and a blue. This is fine. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, uh, I need to put, I might be able to get away with this. Now I'm going to go to Act 3 and to the library. I'm going to talk to Siosa. And I'm going to purchase another fire trap. And a, a righteous fire. I need an orb of alteration. Dang it. Let's speak again. I wish it could pull from your from your stash if you weren't right next to it, but that's a bummer. There's a way that this this will be easier after we beat the campaign, but right now, what did I say? Alteration. Put that there. Okay, let's go talk to him again. May we? Oops. Right. Ugh. Dang it, Chef. All right, Righteous Fire. Right, go so let's care, go back friend. to the Act 3 town. And now <clears throat> I'm going to slot in Fire Trap and Righteous Fire. Okay, and now I'm going to hit X. You can hit X or you can hit this little number two here. You don't want to go number two, you just press the number two. 
Okay, and this brings us to an alternate weapon set. So I'm gonna put this stiletto in and I'm gonna hit X to swap back, okay? So now all the monsters that we kill are going to give experience to our offhand weapons or to the, the offhand skill gems in those in that weapon. So as we kill monsters, we're gonna get to level up this righteous fire and this fire trap. And I'll tell you the reason why right now. And I'll tell you again when we actually do it. But once we get fire trap to level 20, I'm going to want to start to level up fire trap at a higher quality. And there's a vendor recipe that we're gonna do, but it requires sacrificing our level 20 fire trap and basically leveling it over from scratch. So in order, since we'll be at that point dealing with much harder content, what we want is a substitute fire trap that will be at level 20 to swap in while the other one is leveling up. It'll make sense once we get there, I promise. And the same thing with Righteous Fire. We just want to have a backup leveling so that we can uh, we can deal with it. So we can put another weapon in and level more skill gems as well. Um, when you're playing for currency and for trading and stuff like that, it is an excellent way to kind of play the market and um, and uh, and and get a lot of currency by selling high demand skill gems to people that don't want to do the work. And then what I just did right here is I've got all these wisdom scrolls. I just hold shift and hit left click and it will give you the slider and you can pick what kind of size um, stack you want to make. So I don't need 40 wisdom scrolls on me, so I'm going to put a bunch of them in my inventory here. Cool. And then um, this is the last rain. We're not going to use the last rain. Fine. We do have a belt that could be interesting. This gold amulet probably isn't going to be anything for us. But, 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 but yeah, none of this is, is anything any good. Let's compare this with what we have. Um, no, gold amulets are, are rare, rarity items, and we don't really need need or care about that. For what we're doing, uh, this belt, um, the one we have, honestly, is going to be pretty difficult to best for the moment. So um I'm excited about that. Just checking over to make sure we need a better helmet. I need to make a note. We need a much better helmet. This helmet is actual garbage. To kill. Like, look, look, look at this thing. And think of all the drops that we've gotten where we can get such a better one. Right? This thing's only got cold resistance on it. Uh, that's why it's important. Right. Like, it's more important to get better sockets then the actual item sometimes doesn't matter. Obviously, a lot of times it does matter, but sometimes it doesn't. And you can have a really crappy item like this, and still we're, we just killed the Act 3 boss. Now we're over-leveled quite a bit, but uh, he didn't even really scratch us. He kind of sneezed on us, and we kind of brushed it off. So uh, that's gross. Now we do have the currency where I can hit this with, I think it's the Regal Orb, and bring it up to... A rare item but I don't really want to do that if it was four sockets and they were all linked and they were the colors I wanted I might consider it since that item is so horrible but it's also really low level and we can do a lot better than that we can do a lot better than that. so that is what I say to that um, yeah so I don't think we have anything we're at a natural kind of stopping point. I do want to talk back to Hargan What's up? and uh, sell this stuff. There we go. Stay out of the shadows. Okay. Bye -bye. There, boop, 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 boop. We have hit a, a natural pausing point, so I'm going to take that as an opportunity to tell you that that's going to be it for me today. So, as always, I thank you so much for watching. Consider hitting the subscribe button. If you have enjoyed today's video, if you're not subscribed already, and um, yeah, I should be live, or not live, but I should be back tomorrow with a new episode. All the links are in the description down below, and I will see you tomorrow or whenever you watch this.